Welcome back to Ash and the Nastia. Today I'm going to share with you eight mistakes that English speakers make when speaking Russian language. Before we start, не забудьте подписаться на мой канал, нажмите на колокольчик, and let's start. Поехали! The first mistake is about stress. There are many Russian words that English speakers, and not only them, learned with an incorrect stress. Afterwards, it can be very difficult to change and start to pronounce them in the right way. For example, words like дедушка, бабушка, Boris, or девушка. Almost everyone who starts learning Russian know these words and pronounce them with incorrect stress. Дедушка, бабушка, Boris, uh, девушка. The correct way is дедушка. Here е is stressed. Дедушка. And бабушка. Бабушка. Here а is stressed. Борис и is stressed here. And the word девушка е is stressed, not у. It's not девушка, девушка. Ножки. Девушка, а девушка? А который час? 6.15. Words in rhythm can mean completely different things if you put the stress on different vowels. The next mistake is with the word married. In Russian language we have two completely different words and their usage depends on the gender. For women we use замужем. Она замужем. She is married. And for men we use женат. Он женат. He is married. You cannot say она жената or он замужем. It's wrong. Don't make this mistake. Он женат. Когда это тебя останавливало? Mistake number three is to say that you are tired in the morning. In Russian language, tired means that you are tired after doing something, after work, traveling, exam or other activities. So don't say я устал or я устала, feminine, in the morning. You can say я плохо спала or masculine я плохо спал it means i didn't sleep well also you can use я не выспалась feminine or я не выспался masculine i didn't have enough sleep the third option is я еще не проснулась for women and for men я еще не проснулся. It means I haven't waken up yet. I'm still sleeping. Я устал. Ты устал? Next mistake is to use the verb путешествовать as the English verb to travel when you specify exactly where you are going. In English you can say I'm traveling to Russia next year. To say this phrase in Russian, students use the verb путешествовать, and it's incorrect. You should say Я еду в Россию в следующем году. Literally, it means I'm going to Russia next year. You can use the verb путешествовать when you don't name a place where you are going. For example, you say that you like to travel in general. Я люблю путешествовать. Or я путешествую по миру. I travel around the world. Or you're traveling around a country. For example, я путешествую по Индии. I'm traveling around India without a specific place in this country. Путешествовать с домашними животными совсем не сложно. Я иду в Москву 
or я еду в Москву. Both verbs ехать and идти have the same translation in English to go, but of course different meaning in Russian language. So remember, идти means to go by foot and ехать means to go by transport. This is why it is completely wrong to say я иду в Москву or in any other situations when you are using a transportation. И вообще, смотрите, как он едет, как старик. English speakers read Russian е as и and Russian а as е. It's wrong. In Russian language we have four completely different sounds. А is а, е is е, э is э, and и is и. So four different sounds for you to remember. We can read е as и only when е is not stressed in a word. Using the word также instead of тоже. I don't think I had a student who didn't make this mistake. Compare these two sentences. I like pizza and I like pasta as well. Here we will use the word также. Я люблю пиццу, также я люблю пасту. Literally, we can translate the word также as the same way. So, I like pizza the same way as I like pasta. With the word тоже, the situation is different. When you compare yourself or someone else, use тоже. The same example with pasta and pizza. Я люблю Mm, я обожаю пасту и пиццу. А ты? And the answer is Я тоже люблю итальянскую кухню. The translation is I adore pasta and pizza. What about you? I love Italian cuisine as well. Literally, we can translate this word as the same as you, she or he. So, be careful with these two words. Нет, нет, это немедленно уберите. Я не пью. Как? Вот так. Время такое. Ну, я тоже не пью. Но символически надо. Но по пол рюмочки. And the last but not least, the word coffee. In English, it's coffee. Sounds similar, right? However, even if the words in Russian and English sound similar, it is very important to memorize that tiny difference. Saying я хочу кофе would sound a little bit weird in Russian. People will still understand you, of course, but if you strive for perfection, please say кофе. Я хочу Прошу прощения. Я просто проходил мимо и подумал, может быть, вы хотите чашечку кофе? Да, большое спасибо. Where these mistakes familiar to you? What other mistakes can you add to this list? Share your experience in comments below. That's all for today and remember, even though it is important to pronounce words correctly, don't be afraid to make mistakes because only by making mistakes you can actually learn. Well, I hate to admit it, but you, you're probably right. How'd you get to be so smart? Спасибо за внимание. Пока!